weekend? Did you? Nine. Why <laughs> not? <laughs> Study hard. Too much. Anybody went? <laughs> not even one. You went. And did you notice there something? Yeah, Christmas. Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. Christmas, 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 Christmas decoration. Right. So I think we should do that here also. I have only a little bit. I have only a little bit. We can put it maybe there on the board. I have some stickers and some small stars. Can we decorate a bit? Because, you know, Christmas is the biggest festival in Germany. And we should maybe know a little bit about the culture and traditions and customs and whatever is so related. And it started at last Sunday. Right? The Christmas time. So, and for this purpose, I prepared a little bit information for you while uh, Alfred is here doing here interior design. <laughs> we uh, have a look what is now going on so far in Germany. So, we call this time now starting Adventszeit. Advent. Have you ever heard that word? Ad yes? Yes. So, what do you know about that? <coughs> yeah, how long before Christmas? Mm, yeah, you have to but check the calendar, if that is so correct. <laughs> so then, um, Daddy also knows that word, because yeah, Indonesia has many words also from German, right? What do you know, or how do you interpret that word? Come. Yeah, okay. That is good. Okay. So, um, Advent, or the four Weihnachten. Zeit. Weihnachten is the German word for Christmas. Weihnachten. Okay, that is Christmas. And for Weihnachten is then before. Yeah. So, and the Zeit you know already, right? The Zeit is We were talking about this Zeit. We were talking about the Zeit in the sentence. Time, yes. Also the time before Christmas. Yeah? So in Germany. So this one I think is the most famous picture so far. This is the Christkindl Market in Nürnberg. Der Christkindl Market. Here is Nürnberg. Uh, here is München. Yeah, here München here Nürnberg, and that is the most famous famous Christkindl market in whole Germany. I think maybe even on the world. I'm not sure about that, but it is the biggest and most, as the people say, most beautiful one. So Christkindl market means Christmas bazaar. Yeah, Christmas bazaar. And uh, this is very huge and very big and decorated all very nicely. So um, that also just opened again for this season. So let's have a look. What also is it about? What does that word mean, Advent? You said it already a bit. It comes from the Latin language advenire and means uncommon. So when you uh, follow the last class, you will know what uncommon means. To arrive. Yes, to arrive. So it is an arrival, yeah? the Ankunft. Advent is the Ankunft. So it is not meant here this one, right? <laughs> that is another Ankunft we are talking about. That is the arrival of Jesus Christ on the 20th. 4th or 25th, by right, yeah, to, to a night is he uh, is born in the night between 24 and 25th of December, and so um, that is what we are looking for. So, 
how do we uh, celebrate this and how do we look at it? So these are three weeks in front of before Christmas, not four weeks because we have, when you look at the calendar, we start with the first Advent Sonntag that was uh, last Sunday. So then this week in between is the first week. That is the second Advent Sonntag will be in this year on the 9th of December, I'm 9th in December. Then another week is the second week already, right? Is then the third Advent Sonntag, that is the 16 December. And then another week is finished by the fourth Advent Sonntag and that is the 23. And then it's already Christmas, right? 24th, 25th. So uh, we have three weeks, one, two, three, right? And the Sunday before is starting this uh, Advent Zeit, the first one. So there is not a full week there, so we have only three weeks. So uh, how do we go for it? What are we doing there? I mean, it's a very uh, big festival in Germany, so everybody is decorating the house, yeah, like we did just now, or better, Alfred did just now. Don't find even uh, the small tiny stars, I don't, I don't have much. Okay, so. Uh, we have einen Adventskranz. So what is that? This is how it looks like. It is done out of uh, pine tree branches. So it has a nice smell. That's why we have the green color. Yeah, you know, they decorate always with green and red. So we have the green color with red candle. That is a traditional one. Nowadays you find every color. So how we do? So each candle represents one Sunday. And on the first Sunday, you supposed to burn one. You lighten one. So on the second Sunday, the second one. On the third, the third one. Also all three of them then. Yeah? And on the fourth, you burn all the candles. You lighten all the candles so it looks like this. And you have them all in different height. Then, uh, this is from the first one, right? It's already the shortest. So you have different heights of the candles. Mm. So uh, here's what I found in the Wikipedia. How is it symbolized? So the ring or wheel of the advent wreath of evergreens decorated with candles was a symbol in Northern Europe long before the arrival of Christianity. So maybe you know also from the Christmas tree itself and the Easter bunnies and Easter eggs, that is nothing Christian, right? That is before the Christianity came up. So that has much more long history. So the circle symbolized the eternal cycle of the seasons, that's why, right, round, around, around. And while the evergreens and the lighted candles signified the persistence of the life in the midst of winter. Ah, because in Northern Europe, right, they say in Northern Europe. So you know how cold that is there in winter and how long does the winter last. Yeah, also in my mama's place, right, in my mom's place, the south of Germany where the mountains are. There is it also starting early and lasting long. So they are happy when the spring is coming in March, around March, April. Yeah. So that is the, yeah, the, the signified and the signifiers. When you know about semiotics, you can apply that here as well. So uh, that is sometimes not so easy yeah? when I discuss this for example with my husband can we not celebrate a little bit Christmas eh? <laughs> I always say Kitati, yeah? Christmas time is the worst time for me in Malaysia I don't miss Germany uh, all around the year but on Christmas time I really feel it because then my heart is with my family right I miss the decoration the candles everything so uh, since we are not celebrating anymore, ne, sometimes I negotiate with him what can we do and what not. Ne? <laughs> so when it comes to something like this, 
as it is written here in Wikipedia, it is not religious. So, that is custom, right? That is tradition. So, this one could do, right? No harm. But, it is sometimes very hard and the way on the mountain top is very small, tiny to what is religion and what is tradition and custom. That is sometimes not so easy to separate. And um, then it depends from the perception of the partner, right? How much he can come <laughs> together and, and um, find a consensus there. So, uh, yeah, when I want to see something of this, I go to shopping mall. Eh? <laughs> so, yeah, so then um, let us have a look how uh, this next thing is, uh, um, how to say, uh, no, let's start a new sentence. Another uh, item which we have for Advent is the Advent calendar. It's a calendar, as the name it says, and uh, it is of German origin. It is existing around since the 19th century and it comes normally in the shape of a picture, rectangle size. This is one. It has often um, any winter scene yeah, or any uh, Christmas scene. Mm, here is it um, Santa Claus somewhere. Yeah. Mm, this one I think, yeah. uh, uh, which is arriving and giving all the presents out, right? So, then how does it work? How does it work? It has uh, those small windows numbered from 1 to 24 and this you can open. Yeah? Let us now read what is here also in Wikipedia, here yeah, written in Wikipedia. <laughs> Many take the form of a large rectangular card with windows, so it is double, yeah? you have double layer. On the front layer, you have these windows, all together 24, and you can open them, like a small pin too. Yeah? So, one for each day, and they're leading up to the Christmas day. So, one is open every day, and then the, can, the calendar windows open different things. It can be an image, a poem, or a portion of a story, maybe of the Christmas story, or a small gift. Yeah, such as a toy or chocolate, some sweets. So it can be anything. So the most simple one is this one. You just have a piece of paper, double layer. So you open the, the door, the, win the window uh, with the number of the particular day. So today is already number four, right? So then you will see maybe a small picture of, of any uh, yeah, Christmas decoration or any toy or something like that. So then um, nowadays we are more um, demanding, right? We want more, not only such a paper stuff, right? <laughs> so nowadays, um, oh, don't have picture. Uh, nowadays, advanced calendar come in that size, in that oh. form. So oh. this is a little town, right? Small packet like a small town and you can put already something bigger inside <laughs> not only a picture now it can be a small <gasps> present and I remember when I uh, was still, still schooling we had um, we did that all ourselves right for, for our sister siblings or whatever or our friends so we took the small match boxes you know nowadays not so lucky eh? now we have lighters right <laughs> So the small um, match boxes we collected all over the year, 24 pieces. Lucky when the father was a spoker, right? <laughs> so then, then um, we decorate it, we wrap it in nice paper, we put the number 1 to 24 on top and put small little items inside. But it's not so easy uh, in a small match box uh, to find something which is matching their inside. So the things become bigger, <laughs> okay? The things become bigger. Something like this, 
order like this. You can also put it on a string. You can put small uh, bundles there or you can just make packets in different shapes. All your fantasy is borderless. <laughs> so uh, here boxes, nice square boxes which you can put something inside or um, something like this looking that is um, out of clothes yeah so like uh, like so how you call that so cones right so uh, you can put anything inside you can also take the Santa Claus stocking you know you can have 24 of them <laughs> anything envelopes now when we talk more about environment you can take um, recycle boxes <laughs> or whatever you you want to take yeah and i think um, that is for the moment everything i want to tell you for today the beginning of the advanced side something um, maybe you are not so used to but when you have a nice friend you can um, do one for them for him for her and now I can also now give you, I hope I still, yes, a digital form. I give you my uh, website address. We don't have this anymore. We have it now digital. Clad. You can much check it out. I gave the address yesterday also the 200 level students. They just sent me another link with another pictures of advanced calendar. Maybe you find find something nice as well. And then comes a number 655346. Then you find an advanced calendar. And now uh, when you start today, you can click already on 4. Okay, you must follow the numbers. Don't open all, that is not allowed, okay? <laughs> Only one every day. And uh, I think it is still a nice idea. I mean, I am also quite old already, yeah, but I still enjoy that kind of stuff. And uh, I think you never get too old for this, really not. It is just nice to make the time for Christmas, you know, shorter every day something to enjoy mm. if you want to follow there or not because it is the first time since i am here uh, teaching at usm that we have the opportunity that uh, the semester is the whole advent until christmas normally uh, it was stopping before christmas or uh, the whole time was already semester break or something like that so since we are now uh, totally inside that period, I would suggest to have something of that um, spirit because it is a celebration of love, right? Christmas mm -hmm. is joy and love and I think we all can share that, right? It doesn't matter what religion that is, we can share love, right? When we um, do some tiny little presents for each other. <laughs> which we exchange on our last semester day. <laughs> what do you think of that? It, I don't mean big things, yeah, I don't mean diamond ring and whatever. Yeah? <laughs> no, <laughs> what I mean is something that does not cost any cent. Something which comes from your heart. Something where you put some effort inside maybe to create it. Something very simple, but where you show that you appreciate the other person and that you want to show, okay, I like you. I like you as you are. And uh, that I think is uh, something which we, we should simply share. <laughs> and um, I found something... Um, Recently, when I'm looking a bit what is so, so available online and so on, a very nice idea that uh, was saying um, um, a voucher, a voucher, um, you know, maybe I should explain it a bit in advance. You know that uh, we are now so always dealing with computer and with our handies, right? So when you look in the uh, coffee shops, 
they are sitting at one table, but everybody on the phone. Sometimes I'm thinking, do they SMS each other? Oh. <laughs> so, they don't talk anymore, really? Yeah? It, they don't talk anymore. They only sit for their own in their gadgets there. So that's why I was thinking also uh, when I saw that idea, I said it's a really great idea. They say, gave a voucher as a present saying something like, um, I promise you to spend such and so many hours the next year to go with you um, shopping or to go with you doing some sports or that simply to go to do something together with you, to spend time with you without computer. <laughs> so, and I think that is now um, very important nowadays as well, isn't it? Because our social life is only by social networking, right? And then I ask myself, what is there so social? Eh? Real friends, I think real friends you need also much to have by the side, right? Real, face by face, not through Facebook. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I think that it's uh, important much to think, especially at this time of the year of something, um, we could do better, maybe. Simply to share a bit more a bit more the feeling of love for each other yeah and that is what i want to suggest to you i don't i say it again i don't expect you to spend a lot of money for this no need no need at all tiny little things which you do for your own should we do that <laughs> So I will maybe tomorrow I will bring uh, the names small so we we, we uh, pull we pull <laughs> the names and then you have your uh, your so-called partner you have to give a present to <laughs> yeah okay I agree I understand it okay thank you <laughs> so then. Uh, I think uh, we finish with this first and we continue with our time schedule. <laughs> Are you TV addicted? No. Uh, when I thought about time schedules, then I thought, oh yeah, we have everywhere where I look around is a TV, in every official office, in the bank, in the post office, here in our office. Everywhere is a TV. I say, do they work here or not? <laughs> so, I think the TV has here a bit a different function than I am used to. Also, in Germany, we watch TV when we don't want to do anything else. That means we just watch TV for leisure. Hmm? So, here, the TV is also running during working time. Official buildings, can you imagine? <laughs> so, Pachamana. Mm, why you have everywhere here a TV? Do you watch TV a lot, Jason? Yes. <laughs> you are addicted? No? <laughs> Alexander, what about you? Don't watch TV at all. Yeah, me we also. <laughs> I also I don't have even time to do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Daddy, what about you? No, our apartment the TV was broken, so <laughs> <laughs> luckily, yeah. <laughs> I want to do a survey with you. Eine Umfrage ist ein Survey. So you are asked now some questions. <laughs> Bist du ein Fernsehfan? <laughs> ja, some say yes, they say mm, some say mm, mm. Ja, so uh, we try to figure that out. Afterwards you interview your partner, okay? And another question, these two gern fern. You can understand that now, ne? since the last class, I think no problem, right? These two gern fern, 
So everybody answering my question for himself or herself already. Then wann, von wann und bis wann siehst du fern? Von wann und bis wann? What does that mean? Yes, from when to when. Yeah? From when to when. Usually so. And one more, wie viele Stunden pro Tag siehst du fern? And then we decide if you are already addicted or not. Wie viele Stunden pro Tag? Understand the question? A day. Yes. So, uh, just by checking if everybody has a partner here. Um, the, you, you can go with the boys here. Yeah? One, maybe you just turn around, Freddy. And say, no, here's also one you can do together. But there, can you, three of you, do it? Just ask each other. Because otherwise it doesn't work out anymore. Yeah? Okay? So you do that. No, not too long, please. We do, we're going to do now some other stuff. You try to figure out about your partner, how that is, and then you report about them. Please. Short, yeah? Only one sentence per answer. Wer möchte anfangen? You two? Finish? Yeah, okay then. Small report. Short and easy. Now. Bitte schön. Yeah, you just report what you get as answer. Don't repeat the questions anymore. Just tell us the result. Er ist kein. Er ist kein Fernsehfan. Er ist kein. Kein. It's a boy. Kein Fernsehfan. Aber er sieht gut. Oh, said contradicting each other. Oder? Mm. Er sieht fern. Also, he doesn't like it. <laughs> Oder? Yeah, that's all right. Let's continue, my first. Von ach am Abend ach Uhr bis am Sieben Uhr. What is there? Make full sentences, please. We did that last lesson, right? You should now be able to construct your sentences. Okay. That's it. Okay, two hours per day is okay. Yeah, not yet addicted. Yeah, I would say. Okay, then Alfred and Mania Rasi. We take one sample. Yeah, otherwise it takes too long. Each one only. Yeah. Wie bitte? Ich habe dich verstanden, sorry. Ich habe es nicht verstanden. Die, die Zeit. Let me see what you say. Wer? 
Er sieht fern. Oh, you have that ein sehr. Fernsehen is a verb, right? So, and you have to. Did you attend last lesson? So, you have to. Can you help? Yeah, you have to cut it. You have to cut the prefix off. So, you have no ein here, it's not a noun. And you have to fern, there's an N missing also. Cut it here. So, er sieht fern. And this one is already this one. Already done. Okay? So, er sieht. There is nothing here. Huh. Found. Um zwei Uhr. Um zwei Uhr. Zwei. What are hours? Zwei Stunden pro Tag fern. Ja. That's all? Das ist alles? Ist er addicted? Ist er süchtig? Addicted ist äh, süchtig. Ist, bist du fernsehsüchtig? Bist du fernsehsüchtig? Okay, der Fatin und Yin Jin. Wer möchte berichten? Okay. Slowly and pronounce properly. I can really hardly understand. Fatin ist keine Fernsehfan. Keine Fernseh, kein Fernsehfan. Ja, es, Fan is in general masculine for everybody. There is no feminine or male. Ja. Oh. Who heard this just now? All Lampu Minyala here when I hear that. Say it again. Sie, what did you say? Sie? Sie, nicht? And then? Gern fern. Anything else? Full stop. <coughs> All Lampo Maniala. In your case, not anybody here? You should recognize that that is wrong. Teresa, what's wrong here? The fan is what? The word, yeah, the word is Fernsehen, right? This you should use. And you cut it here, and this is this part. That is this part, right? Ha. So, sehen wäre das hier lang. So, this one cannot, right? That is not a verb. You cannot separate subject and verb. Verb, da hat er lang zu. Da la. So, sie sieht. Must be here. Nicht gern fern. That is correct. Hush. <laughs> Cannot la just we did it last lesson already forgotten. Okay, next check your sentences. Yeah? See?
Okay, so where do you put that beautiful prefix? Which prefix? <coughs> the fan. He mentioned fan, right? So, like this, fan sehen is a prefix, right? Fan is a prefix from fan sehen. You mentioned it just now in your sentence again. So, sie sieht fan von, forgot the time, um, cannot. Where do you put the prefix? John, at the back, of course, here, full stop, here. After that is nothing anymore. So, what's a mana? Bully like that. Engine, did you pay attention last class? Just a small question. So. Ah, yes. Like that. And not different. <laughs> Some more? Okay. <laughs> yeah, but you see from the first sentence you come always a bit better, right? The last one was correct. <laughs> okay, Mr. Fung. Can you report about CB? Elf Uhr Mittag, äh, Vormittag. Äh? Elf Uhr ist Vormittag. Ja. Mhm. Okay. Ist sie fernsehsüchtig? Sie ist fernsehsüchtig. Sie ist addicted. <lacht> She cannot live without TV. Betul. <laughs> sort of? Okay. Okay, what about here? Who wants to report? Freddy. Okay. She is quite sensitive. Why do you have all the name? Why you don't use names? I just noticed this already. You never use names. You don't know them? Am Nacht. Am Nacht. Am Abend. Ja, oder in der Nacht. Um wie viel Uhr? Von wann bis wann? Okay, but that is not Nacht, that is Abend, ja. Acht bis neun Uhr ist Abend, ja. No, no need to say in der Nacht, that is am Abend, it is not night, middle of the night, one o'clock, or that would be at night. Okay, that's it, that's all? Sie sitzt über eine Stunde Okay, eine Stunde ist okay, ja. Okay. Und äh, schon. Ah. Alexander ist ein Prinzipan von Prinzipan. Er sieht nicht, er sieht gut, 
Jeden Tag. Jeden Tag? Vier Stunden? Jeden Tag. Montag, Dienstag, Mittwoch, Donnerstag, Freitag, Samstag, Sonntag. Einmal im Monat. Im Monat. Ja. Einmal im Monat. One time in the month. Once the month. Okay, er ist nicht fernsehsüchtig, nein, nein. <lacht> er ist nicht fernsehsüchtig. Okay, wer möchte hier berichten? Miss U? You did not both sides. Okay, das ist alles. ist ein Fernsehfan. Okay. Sie sieht No need to another sehen. Sie What did you say? Sie sieht and then how do you continue? Sehen. Sehen. Um. Sieben. Bis neun Uhr. Bis neun Uhr. What? That's it. Fang. There. This one? That is this one? You cut it, this is a prefix, this is the sehen here, but this one you transfer into this. So this one you don't need anymore. <laughs> don't double, it's too much. Okay, no need, no need. So you have to conjugate it and put it in the second position, right? So you have only one. Okay, sie sieht, not um, when you have an interval, You must use this one. Von bis. Yeah. So from to. Not um is exactly sharp at that time. But then you cannot have a duration, right? So you must have here. Yeah? Von. Yeah. So sie sind von sieben bis neun Uhr fern. That is correct. Okay, some more? Pro Tag Fan. <laughs> Don't forget this. It's so easy to forget that small little word there at the back. Hmm? And? Some more? That's it? Okay. Then, uh, here, who want to report? Daddy. Cindy is einem Ist ein. Yeah, we don't differentiate there. Okay, ja, yeah, alles richtig. Und hier, wer möchte berichten? Michelle? Okay. Uh, Lanta ist kein Konzefan. Sie sieht nicht gönnen. Sie sieht nicht gönnen. Nicht gönnen. Not at all. No. <laughs> Null Stunden. Null Stunden. Ja, sie sieht überhaupt nicht fern. Okay. <lacht> ja, okay, danke schön. So you are atypisch. I think you are not typical representatives. Wherever so far I go, they like to watch TV. <lacht> okay, you are studying hard, right? <lacht>
Now we want to use uh, this time and schedules and we do again lunch stationen today. That's why I was always looking on the watch because I have to monitor a bit the time. So we have four stations again, lunch stationen. So it would be nice now if we have such a big room, we separate it with uh, separations, right, that you don't disturb each other, huh? but this we unfortunately don't have. So what we do, Lernstation 1 is on Lesen und Schreiben, Lernstation 2 on Sprechen, but I really mean that like this, yeah? Don't write everything down, what you want to say, just talk. And think of sentence structure, of course, but don't write everything, you don't get to talk and we want to do also oral, right? So we have to practice simply, yeah? Dann Lernstation 3, Lesen und Sprechen. So you have something to read and talk about it. And then Lernstation 4, Sprechen mit einer Dialog, Dialogübung. So you, this you can prepare a bit. Yeah? Because this one you have to present. This one. Yeah? The other one is in your group only. So I give you again materials and we must have four stations. So remember to prepare four tables, so called tables, right? Four groups, can we just do that? Like last time we did already, right? Okay, number one. You get the most of the material. <laughs> this is your material, you should read this. And which one do you know from it? What is what? This one is given. Um, number four here is an asterisk. That is a Zeichen trick, an animation. Okay? So you go much through and try to understand the question. I will help you in case. Number two, you get only something for speaking. Only a little bit. So you orientate yourself uh, at these samples and try to follow this one. Talk about this. So TV programs. And number three, um, this refers to this um, only a an, um, uh, sample from the TV program. You can also take that bigger. No, that is not yours. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Number one, number two, Pavel. Ah, doch. Was gibt es in Wellen? Doch, ist korrekt, ist yours. Um, and then you follow this one and um, you uh, follow the, the questions here. Yeah? And then you also talk. You read the program and then talk about the program. And this one is about the TV program itself. So you make a dialogue. So this one you can write. So this is from yesterday TV program, one whole day, from morning 5.30 to evening. So you can talk about this, you can choose whatever you want to see that is the latest, yeah, from yesterday. And there are here um, one, two, three, four, five, six stations. So the major ones uh, are these two, these are the main stations, okay, and you can choose what you want to see and discuss about it. Yeah? Any questions? You let me know. Anybody need not a TV program? Do you need a TV program? No. What? Liebling Sendung im Fernsehen. Yeah, you can talk about any favorite, or you can also orientate yourself at the TV program if you want. Otherwise, you talk about the Malaysian one. I don't mind either one. <laughs> so, I would say the first three stations we try more to control a little bit what you understood with help of the. PowerPoint. So, I have here several programs. Yeah, you can sit like this, no problem, as long as you can see halfway. <laughs> programs. 
Uh, what we have here? Eine quiz show. So for those who did not work out with these terms, um, they are the experts. What is quiz show? Uh, yes. So Zeichentrick. Okay. Dann der Krimi. Uh, der Dokumentarfilm. Uh, what is that? Die Nachrichten. The news. Ja, yeah. what else you have here? Der Film, also any movie. Dann, what is this here? Cannot read. Also. A Kulturprogramm. Ja, yeah. und die Sportsendung. So, we listen now to several uh, short uh, clips from this TV programs and you order them. Which one, what you hear is which picture? Yeah? You order. Try to get that. Erkennst du die Sendung? Nummer eins. So, that is Nummer eins, ja? So you have to remember, yeah? <laughs> Easy, yeah? Okay, so how? Nummer eins is done. Nummer zwei? Okay, dann Nummer drei? Nummer drei? Nummer vier? Dokument. Film, ja. Nummer fünf? The News, alright. <laughs> Und the concert. Okay. Okay, that is easy, yeah? So try to remember a little bit the words, okay? It's not so difficult, almost uh, German, yeah? uh, almost, sorry, English, except the Zeichentrick. It's uh, so animation and cartoon is a long way to Zeichentrick. Yeah? Maybe here you have to remember it more. But Krimi is criminal, right? Documentary, documentar film is not so long way, yeah? Okay? So let us try the next one. The next one is a text. Hmm. <laughs> so now I know you don't like uh, pictures like this, but this time we have to. So, was denkt Birgit über das Fernsehprogramm? What does Birgit think of the TV program? I read mal eins für you, ja? Ich bin kein Fernsehfan. Ich finde Fernsehen blöd. Natürlich gibt es manchmal auch interessante Sendungen und die sehe ich sehr gern. Zum Beispiel Krimis und Dokumentarfilme. Aber Quizshows, sie sind so langweilig. Immer dasselbe. Ich finde, Fernsehen ist wie eine Droge. Hans, ein Freund von mir, sieht jeden Tag vier bis fünf Stunden fern. So ein Wahnsinn! Und er hat dann natürlich keine Zeit mehr für was anderes. Kein Sport, keine Bücher, keine Musik, kein Computer, nur Fernsehen. Auch mein Vater ist ein Fernsehfan. Er kommt um 18 Uhr von der Arbeit zurück und er sieht dann den ganzen Abend fern. Er hat nie Zeit für mich. Hmm. Yeah, uh, try mal to figure out uh, what she says. It is pro and contra, okay? Yeah. So what does she say pro and what does she say contra about the TV program? Just make some brainstorm, try to understand. The way I read it just now also can help you already. <coughs> You know the words, majority of them. 
so I think not so much a problem. Sometimes, yeah, manchmal is sometimes. Perhaps it's vielleicht, it's a bit different. So try to get the pro points and the negative, the contra points. And try a little bit to understand also who is doing what. Can we? I might try. Let us might try. We still can go back to the text. So, some questions. Mm, here I give you already some answers. You see, Birgit sieht sehr gern fern. That is falsch, right? She is complaining a lot. Ne? Yeah. So, Birgit, Lieblingssendungen sind Quizshows. Ist das richtig oder falsch? Falsch. Sure? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hans ist ein Freund von Birgit. Das ist richtig, okay. Hans hat viele Hobbys. Who say falsch? Who is saying falsch? One or nie? You are all for richtig. Okay, then we have to go back. Yeah? Well, because he always watches TV, he has no time for something else. There is a lot mentioned, but all kein, kein, kein. Mm. Der Vater von Birgit sieht viel fern. Yeah. Und am Abend spricht Birgit lange mit ihrem Vater. Falsch. Er hat nie Zeit für mich, ne? she says. He has never time for me. Yes. So, what experiences do you make with the TV? Does that happen to you also that your parents don't have time for you because they watch TV all the time? Nein. 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 Gott sei Dank. Yeah, that's very good that that does not happen to you. <laughs> okay. So, one, uh, some completion with an indefinite article. Ah, especially your turn. And they also have some articles, right? Ah, okay. Wann gibt es einen Krimi? Wann gibt es ein Kulturprogramm? Okay, so next. Wann gibt es Sportsendung? Which gender has Sportsendung? So, I... Ne. Okay, eine Sportsendung. Wann gibt es Talkshow? Wann gibt es eine Talkshow? Und wann gibt es Film? Einen Film. Yes. So, I hope that is not a problem for you anymore. With 